Now that I've got that stench of Momo off my channel, I'm going back to my original plan and talking about Tommy Robinson getting banned on Facebook. So let's get on with it. Don't even think about it. Sorry. Hello, I'm Mr G and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm talking about Tommy Robinson being booted off Facebook and Instagram. For those who don't know who Tommy Robinson is, here's a quick lowdown. His real name is Stephen Christopher Yaxley Lennon, but prefers to be called Tommy Robinson. He is an English far-right activist and serving as a political advisor to the leader of the UK Independence Party. I covered a little bit about Tommy Robinson in my Cock of the Year 2018 video at the start of the year, but not covered any of these shenanigans since then. Now on February the 26th, Facebook and Instagram banned him off the platform for repeatedly breaking their policies. In a blog post, Facebook said, when ideas and opinions cross the line and amount to hate speech that may create an environment of intimidation and exclusion for certain groups in society, in some cases with potentially dangerous offline implications, we take action. Tommy Robinson's Facebook page has repeatedly broken these standards, posting material that uses dehumanising language and calls for violence targeted at Muslims. He has behaved in ways that violate our policies around organised hate. In other words, Facebook weren't going to be taking his shit anymore. The ban comes a month after being given a final written warning. He was warned he would be banned permanently if he ignored the company's hate speech policy. He ignored that warning and Facebook just acted accordingly. Robinson was placed in the same category as Infowars creator Alex Jones, meaning if anyone allowed him access to the platform via their profiles could face similar disciplinary action. Before being banned on Instagram, Tommy made a video saying, I'm being deleted off Instagram. I can make this video at the moment, but I'm being deleted. He then called his supporters to fight this censorship. The thing is, if you're constantly being warned and reprimanded over breaking a social media's policies, why would you be surprised that they finally shut you down over it? Of course, Tommy claimed it was all part of a smear campaign designed to keep his opinions off mainstream outlets. It's not a smear campaign when people are trying to shut you down for spreading hate speech. It's the law of the land to try and stamp out this kind of behaviour before it rears its ugly head. Of course, people took to Twitter, defending him such as tweets like this. The BBC and mainstream media have banned him, even despite government attempts. Thankfully, they haven't made YouTube give way. Yet. Well, let's hope YouTube wake up soon to enforce a ban then. Alex Jones. Gavin McInnes, Tommy Robinson, Infowars, Jared Taylor, Owen Benjamin, James Woods. The list goes on. Why is it only right-wingers that are getting banned from Twitter? Is this some sort of political censorship? Retweet if you want to stop the bias. No, just trying to shut down people who think it's okay to spread hatred. Fortunately, there were some voices of reason on Twitter too. Tommy Robinson should be banned from all social media sites and no one should give him a platform to make speeches. He is trying to divide our country and incite racial hatred and bigotry. We don't need this in our country. Totally agree and looking forward to the day that he signs completely on all social media platforms. So, Tommy Robinson is crying about being banned from Facebook and Instagram after already being removed from Twitter? Hashtag don't laugh. I'll try not to. It seems now that Tommy is facing a fresh hearing over an alleged contempt of court. Now Attorney General Geoffrey Cox has concluded there are strong grounds to bring new proceedings against him. Never rains when it pours, eh Tommy? Let's hope they can make it stick and he can have a longer jail sentence this time. Mr Cox said, After carefully considering the details of this case, I have concluded there are strong grounds to bring contempt of court proceedings against Stephen Yaxley Lennon, aka Tommy Robinson. Only time will tell what happens next, but it's not looking good for the so-called people's champion. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate from Tommy supporters over this, but at the end of the day, it's my opinion. So if you don't like it, I've got one message to say to you. I'm pretty sure that you can't deal with it. Deal with it. So what do you think to it all? Do you think it was a good thing that Facebook and Instagram banned him off their platform? Or do you think it was all a bit heavy handed? I would love to hear from you about this. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.